Can you 3D print on top of thin air? Well, actually, yes, you can. What you're seeing here is a 90 degree overhang, fully 3D printed without any support material. This is possible because of a technique I made called the arc overhang algorithm. This can be done on pretty much any desktop 3D printer, as long as you have decent part cooling. I'm Steven. Today, I'll show you how I came up with this algorithm, and then I'll explain how it works with some animations. So this idea started off with an accidental discovery. I printed an experimental object that has these droops of plastic that intentionally are printed in thin air. And I did this on purpose just to see what would happen. I was very surprised to find that some of those droops actually supported each other and formed really nice looking overhangs. I then made some test prints that use this idea on purpose and did a lot of testing to fine tune the result until it was something I was happy with. Then I promptly forgot about the project and left it like that for about nine months. Recently, I was thinking about it and I realized this could be something a lot better. I made some sketches and I came up with some ideas for how this might be used to print any overhang. The algorithm I came up with uses circular arcs that recursively grow out and cover the entire overhanging region, no matter what shape that region is. I spent the next few weeks writing Python code, and I'll spare you those details for now, but I eventually got it to the point where I could actually start testing my, my algorithm with real G-code. And the natural thing to do is just print overhangs as big as possible until something goes wrong. So that's what I did. The tests got increasingly more ridiculous until I almost covered the entire bed surface with an overhang. And at this point, I realized there's actually something to this. I should make this available for everyone to test. So that's what I did. The code for this is open source and available on GitHub in a link in the description. Okay, so how does this algorithm actually work? I'll show you on this random shape as an example. So first we start from an edge on this polygon. And in this case, I'm just arbitrarily choosing an edge to start from. And on this edge, we find the point on that edge that is the farthest away from all the other edges. Next, we grow a circle from that point until it hits an edge, or sometimes two edges. Then we trim away all the bits on that circle that aren't inside the polygon. And then we just repeat the first three steps on this next arc. So we create a point on the arc, we grow a circle from that point until it hits an edge, and then we start a new arc. As the pattern continues, we get one long branch of arcs that repeats until there's no more space left to create any more arcs. At this point, we've run out of space and we need to backtrack until there is an arc with space to start a new branch. This pattern continues until the whole shape is completely filled. One of the main problems this technique addresses is the need for support material. Support material is annoying, and none of us would really like to print it unless we have to. Supports end up just being thrown away in the trash. They're a waste of filament. They waste your time because it makes your parts take longer to print, and they're a real pain to remove. My hope is for this algorithm to be a feature in actual 3D slicing software like Cura or Prusa Slicer. I actually started programming this in C++ for Prusa Slicer, but it's probably going to take a while uh, since it's been a really long time since I programmed with C++ and there's also just a lot to understand about how Prusa Slicer works before I can even begin. So uh, if there's interest in following this project, I'll post update videos on this channel. So subscribe if you want to stay updated. If you have any thoughts or improvements to the algorithm, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. 
And if you end up printing this for yourself, please let me know. Uh, I'd love to see what you come up with. You can also follow this project by following my Instagram. Just search for Layershift 3 d Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.